Hello and welcome again to another video. This is the fourth video. We're going to be dealing with queries. Uh, by definition, a query is a question based on certain criteria. But that's not limited because query has a lot more to it if we're dealing with databases. Uh, let's take a, a mistake that I've done uh, earlier and see how we can fix it it's through the queries before we establish really additional uh, uh, feature of query. So I'm going to close everything. And here we go. We're going to close all the table. And if, if, if I examine the tables, let's take a look at the, uh, the table state. Notice here the word small I misspelled. You know, I, I'm always, I always make this mistake of, uh, because being dyslexic, I'm saying here S-A-M-L-L -L instead of S-M-A-L, small. Uh, the same mistake I've done in the city when I did the small, uh, I misspelled it. So query actually fix things like this. Not only uh, makes things a lot easier for us to handle. So let me go ahead and show you how to fix this before we continue. So the thing that I'm going to do here is to go to create. And I'm going to start with a query design. Okay. And I'm going to add the two tables. And I always like to have the one on the on the left side, you know, just to remind me who is really the mother in this case and who's the child. And as you notice, I noticed the size in the table was misspelled. Here we go. And the size here also. And if I wanted to go ahead and update update this one here the size you could go ahead and update update the uh, to small okay if the criteria here as you notice to small see I'm even I spelled it here small and also small and if the criteria is s as I spelled it before s a m l l and here we go one second here. I need to go ahead and say okay. uh, S M S A M L and S A M L, and it does actually put it between double quotes. And this is an updated query. Of course, we're going to have appended query. We're going to make table query. We have other type of things. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. And you're about to change. Let's say here, yes. And if I do actually save this query, I'm going to go ahead and save it, okay, for later. And I'm going to save the object as QRY, that's the prefix, update small, see, to small. And those things always should be taken seriously. I'm going to go ahead and close this. If I go back to the state name, okay, notice that the name small change through the whole database. The same thing, uh, the name small. So this is the query that the update. This is an updated query. Uh, another thing that we have to do, of course, is to go ahead and ask question. What about if I wanted to list in the query the state name, the population for that state, then I wanted the city name, and I wanted the crime rate in the population for that city. So we're going to start the query, and we're going to start with the query design. And I'm clicking twice, so that's why you hear the sounds. I should click it all in one, and here we go. I got both of them. Uh, again, I'm going to move this around, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and get the state name. I'm not using the state abbreviation, even though it was used as a primary key, but that's good to know that most of the primary key usually, especially those artificial ones, we don't really communicate them to the uh, users or to the report, especially like something like social security number. Anyway, the population here for the state, I need the city name, I need the crime rate, and also the population. I could actually put the size as well. So if you run this query, it's not going to look very good, as you notice, uh, because what we're going to do 
see the report that will please a human being when they look at it. We're going to see it in the actual report, but the query is the engine that allow us to manipulate things. For example, when I go back to the design, the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the population, I'm going to click on the right button, go to the property, and I want to format that as standard so I could have the comma. The same thing for the population for the city. I'm going to go ahead and, and put it as standard. I don't want any uh, zero, of course. Population should be an integer. All right. So if I run this, just to show you that uh, I like that format. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to go back to the design. Let's go ahead and see if we are if we are projecting that this is an assumption that every city is going to grow with 5% in the next, let's say, 5 or 10 years. And I wanted to do the projection, you know, future projection. So population or projection of population. I'm creating actually a calculated field. And I'm going to use that builder here, which is going to be by clicking, look here, the parameters. Uh, we, could, we could do it this way. Actually, I need to go ahead and say TPL. One second. TPL. Okay. The state. Uh, city, sorry. DBA state. Dot population. See that? I'm going to pick up this. The parameter didn't help me, the parameters. So this here, multiplied. Multiplied. That's like, we do that. Multiplied by, actually, TBL. The state. Dot populate. Er, sorry, not the state, the city. I don't know why I'm making the same mistake here. Okay. And dot. Okay, population multiplied by 0 0.05. So I'm adding the population of the state plus 5% in order to project. Just to show you how to create a calculated field. And here we go. And this is doesn't belong to any, it's only in the query. It's not part of any table. So if I run this, as you will notice, this is the projection. Oh, that's a very large number. So I want to see what mistake I made here. So I'll go back and do that calculation here one more time okay and I'm gonna go to the builder and it's going to be the it's supposed to be plus not multiplied okay plus and I knew that there's something drastically problematic about it so this is the projection uh, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of call it project I'm gonna call it projection and here we go and as you notice, I added another calculated fields called projection. Also, I could go ahead and format it as well. If I click on the right button here, property, one second here, I need it to look like the other. So format is going to be standard. <coughs> okay, here we go, standard. Standard and no. Format is standard. Okay, you need me to save the query. I'm going to say here query. I'm going to call it calculated field, okay, for projection uh, of city population, okay. So here we go. So it's asking me to format it. I'll say cancel. We don't need it. So and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the input mask. Whether I didn't do, I'm clicking on the input mask. I should be doing the format here standard. And I don't have any decimal point associated with it, which is enough. Okay. And let's take a look at this one here. Notice I got the projection of the population with the right format. Oh, we don't have, we need to get rid of the decimal point. So I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. Here are the decimal places. Yeah, that's that should be it. All right, I lost you here, but hopefully we find each other again, so we'll be able to continue with this. It's good to keep the same mistake because if you ended up doing similar mistake, you know it's not really the end of the world. We could fix them very easily. 
And here we go, we ended up with a calculated field with a projection of the population. So now, <clears throat> in the next video, we're going to take this and report that finding to a manager who would like to see only the state name on the top and also the population of that state and also we'll see the list of the data but one thing we need to do is to actually calculate the population for the cities that mention in that state so we're going to be doing some grouping so I'll get ready for that type of discussion that is coming in the next video which handles reporting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.